today's travel day started off in Cancun and I'm stopping in Newark, New Jersey. And now I have about a seven hour flight to Frankfurt, Germany where I'm gonna stop for about three or four hours. Then off to Istanbul. At the United Club here in uh, New Jersey, finally. Unfortunately, because of COVID, there is no real food. So we're stuck with Chips Ahoy and Ritz. I've been saving like all my miles for this like next year of travel basically. So because I didn't really pay for it, this entire flight, I just used all my miles. I got an upgrade. <laughs> I mean, it's not much of an upgrade, but on their new plane here, going to Frankfurt, it's gonna be a pretty nice flight, I think. So I might actually get to sleep for a seven hour flight for once. All right, so about five hours later, I uh, got some work done, but I need to get to the uh, gate a little bit early because, well, me being me, I forgot to print my visa for Turkey. It's interesting, I didn't know that they had actually COVID-19 testing here. So it looks like you can do a rapid test right here in Newark, New Jersey. It's uh, incredible to see how much uh, the airport has changed since uh, I last flew back in June. And there was just like nobody at the airport. Now they're just turning pretty much like normal. Hello. That was fairly easy. Couldn't get my visa in, but whatever. Ooh, not bad. This is like such a big layout. I mean, I have pretty much this whole space to myself so far. Um, seats are a lot roomier, obviously, than uh, in the economy. So uh, this is like the middle ground between economy and business class up front. Looks like you can extend pretty far back. Uh, I've, I've never been in this class before. Like, this is as far up in the plane as I've ever been, to be honest. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is nice. I can get used to this. So, of course, you got the really large screen. I mean, it's literally half the size of my hand. So, it tells you exactly what to expect on this trip. You've got departure, meal service, lights out, then snack, quick snack, and then lights on and meal service right before we arrived in Frankfurt. Super cool. Now, getting into the amenities, they provide you with an amazing pair of headphones, but I typically use AirPods, so I won't be needing them. Inside this really nice leather bag, they provide you with a sleeping mask, some socks, a coupon code to Sunday Riley, which I probably won't be needing, a toothbrush with toothpaste. They also provide you with some hand lotion and cream, and last but not least, some lip balm. Overall, I think this is an amazing amenity kit, and I'm definitely keeping this bag for future travels. Guys, I'm having way too much fun here. One thing I haven't mentioned is that I'm flying to Istanbul. <laughs> I think this is the one thing I haven't mentioned today, actually. Today's travel day started off in Cancun and I'm stopping in Newark, New Jersey. And now I have about a seven hour flight to Frankfurt, Germany, where I'm gonna stop for about three or four hours, then off to Istanbul. Mac and cheese, how are you? Hi, good. Pasta. Uh, the lobster mac and cheese. Oh, okay. How about for yourself? Have lobster mac and cheese. Lobster and mac and lobster. cheese. I think my most favorite part about this airplane so far is that these windows are just so big, so nice, and very clean, which means very easy to vlog with. <laughs> We hope you have the pleasure of serving you again on another United flight. Thank you and have a great day.
See ya. Thank you. Bye Thank now. you. That was an amazing flight, an amazing experience. We arrived actually like 45 minutes early because we had like 170 mile an hour tailwind. So now I have four hour layover here. Uh, as soon as you get off the plane, they're, ever, they're checking and screening everybody's passport and tickets. Just so you guys do know, um, expect that when you're landing in Germany. Aside from the new Istanbul airport, Frankfurt has to be one of the largest airports I've ever traveled through. If you have like a one hour layover, <laughs> I don't even think that's long enough for you to uh, get to your flight. You might even miss it at that point. I gotta say, every time I fly through Germany, it's always an adventure. <laughs> Remember how I said you needed extra time? Because, well, I forgot about the security checkpoint and that took literally an extra 15-20 uh, minutes. Alright, there we go. This is where I'm going. No, that actually took like 30 to 40 minutes. I'm sorry. Let's just say the security here in uh, Frankfurt is uh, very thorough. So they go through my all my stuff, all my camera equipment, all my clothes. Next thing you know, the TSA agent is like, oh, we detected traces of explosives. I'm like, oh great, here we go. <laughs> So the, the German police came up to me, uh, asked me where I'm coming from, all the usual questions. They're like, oh yeah, well, you just have liquid that's uh, over the limit, should be on your way pretty quick. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> it's always an adventure here, but super friendly police here, uh, very nice. And yeah, again, give yourself at least like an hour and a half, two hour layover here because uh, the line wasn't very long and it took like 30 to 40 minutes because they are very thorough when they go through security here, um, even if you're transiting through here. Sleeping on the United flight here was by far the nicest sleep I've ever had on an airplane. Uh, and that was actually only premium plus on United. It wasn't even business class or what might, what some might even experience first class on other airlines. And <laughs> I was just impressed by that. So I can't even imagine what first or business might be even on that plane. <laughs> hygiene bag here, antiseptic wipes, and a mask in here. Alright, finally arrived in Turkey. That's a long one. I just had to fill out my documents for passenger information. Arriving here in Istanbul, took me like two minutes, really easy. Just asked for my passport information and stuff and where I've been in the past 14 days. Well, the customs and immigration for passport control was super easy. It's like about like three minutes. Um, they didn't really even look at my visa. I'm assuming that because I got an e-visa that they already had my passport on file that I have a visa or electronic visa. So I didn't really even have to show that, even though I did have it on my phone ready to go. Found the free Wi-Fi station. So apparently you can just put in your passport number and it'll make you a uh, code. Finally they fixed this issue. Last time they didn't have this, so let's see if this works. One hour free. What's the Wi-Fi package, just out of curiosity. Let's just get the one hour free. And then you just print your code. See, last time I had this issue where I couldn't log onto the Wi-Fi because I don't have a SIM card here, and they send you the code to your phone or a phone number, and obviously I can't access my phone number unless I have Wi-Fi. <laughs> so that was the issue I was having last time, and at least now that they fixed it. It's so such a big airport, which means 
20 different carousel lines. They've got these uh, dividers here for when you're picking up bags for social distancing. Pretty cool to see. Uh, I guess my bag didn't get destroyed at least. That's a good sign. So basically I am looking for the Havaist bus which takes you into downtown. It's supposed to be downstairs on the first level or second level actually. All right, so the guy just told me I have to pay by card on the bus. It's only cash only at the mobile ticket station, so. <laughs> number 40. Number 40. Love Tom, number 40. 40 or 14? Huh? 14? 40. All right, so they just told me go to aisle number 14. <laughs> this is turning out to be quite the adventure now. <laughs> One person? Yeah, just one person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Thank thanks. You. I can take this mask off. Not a bad room. And the good area. Wow, guys. What a travel day. I'm sweating. If you've never been to Istanbul, there's a lot of hills. Oh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Give it a like if you liked it. Comment down below any questions you guys have. If you plan on coming into Istanbul or flying during uh, this whole pandemic. And uh, of course, guys, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.